cataracts are a common problem among older people. By age 80, more than half of all Americans either have a cataract or have had cataract surgery. Here to tell us more is Dr. Kashyap Kasapata from Charlotte Eye, Ear, Nose, and Throats Associates. Hello, sir, and welcome to the show. How are you doing? Good, thank all you. Right. Thank you for having me on the show again. Of course, mm -hmm. it's great to see you. Absolutely. Um, yeah, of course, as we get older, our vision changes. We all know that, right? Mm -hmm. Talk about some of the changes we experience. As we mature, the lens inside our eye uh, transitions from uh, clear vision, as shown in this image uh, coming up, and over time becomes blurred and glare, as you can see on the right over there. Mm -hmm. Glare is nothing more than light being bent in all different directions to do diffraction, and it doesn't focus in one place, and that causes blurred vision. Okay. You know, most of us think that we have to live with that situation, but you say that's not that's not the case at all, right? Absolutely. You can have cataract surgery. Absolutely. When it gets to the point where you're unable to perform your daily activities and new glasses don't help, uh, cataract surgery is typically offered. Yep. Uh, it's a simple six-minute procedure where we essentially uh, remove the cloudy lens and replace it with a clear lens implant to help you see better and also maintain and restore your independence. So if people are experiencing that kind of glare that we just showed in that picture, it might be time to come in and see the doctor and find out if you're a candidate for this. Correct. Okay. Okay. Now, most people do just fine with cataract surgery. Exactly. Um, they can resume normal activities pretty quickly, but um, about 1% of patients might have some issues, and you want to talk about what some of those issues are. Uh, the first one is glare. Correct. Um, I'm going to talk about a few different visual phenomena uh, so that your viewers uh, who may be experiencing them can understand why they're happening and what they can do about them. Mm -hmm. The first one is glare, and this is after cataract surgery and lens implant surgery, as shown on the right-hand side of that image. Uh, glare after, after cataract surgery can be due to three things. Uh, first is dry eyes, where, uh, and dry eyes, and then the second is clouding of the capsule behind the lens implant, and then the third is uh, residual prescription. For dry eyes, it's a tiered approach as far as managing them. You start with artificial tears and gel so you can get over the counter, mm -hmm. followed by what's called punctal plugs, where you plug up the drains in your eyelids wow. so whatever tears your eye makes stays on your eye, mm -hmm. or prescription dry eye drops. Uh, for those folks who have the clouding of the capsule, a simple one-minute procedure with a laser can clean it up right in the office. And then finally, the last one with the uh, refractive error after surgery, simple pair of glasses or contacts can, can take care of it. And those people who don't want to do that, they can do laser vision correction at that point. Okay, another issue is halos. What's halos? Uh, halos, as you can see in the image over here, are the top two images uh, uh, coming up here <clears throat> are are what occurs in, can occur in any type of lens implant, but most commonly what's called an extended range lens implant, which allows people to see far away and up close without glasses. Um, now this implant, if you look very carefully at the image at the bottom, mm -hmm. um, it, through the pupil you can see those concentric rings there. Yes. Those implant, that, those rings are what allow the range of vision but also causes those halos around point lights. Mm -hmm. Now, it's usually very common the first few weeks after cataract surgery, but then over time, over months, uh, it dissipates. And, and it's due to a process called neuroadaptation. And, and all that means is that the brain's inherent uh, uh, image enhancement software um, refines the vision over time. But a few percent of folks may still have problems, and if that happens, we can replace that lens implant with a different one that doesn't have that uh, near technology to resolve the problem. Okay, the next issue is strobing. Yes, so similar to what uh, you made, uh, what, when light bounces back and forth between two mirrors, if they're right in front of each other, that's uh, the other image with the uh, repetitive, uh, uh, there we go. Um, internal reflection within the lens implant uh, due to the highly polished front and back surfaces and the acrylic material can cause some patients to see strobing or fluttering in their peripheral vision. And um, again, through neuroadaptation, some of these do improve with time, but if not, what we can do is we can replace that lens with a different material called silicone to resolve that problem. 
Let me just say, you're really smart. And if I ever <laughs> need the kind. surgery, you're my guy. Thank you. I'm calling you. <laughs> That's right. I don't know that I understood all of it, but I want you to be my doctor. That's right. Uh, for you. more information, visit wejustmakesense.com. Wejustmakesense.com. Or you can call Charlotte Eye, Ear, Nose, and Throat Associates at 704-295-3000. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you no for doubt. And I agree with her. Uh, guys, thank you. <laughs> all right, coming up this hour, Charlotte, today, why an artist says it's a good thing to make mistakes. Mm -hmm and other life lessons we can learn from art. Plus, it's more than a fashion show, it's an inspiration show. How a local event is changing the perception of what it means to be a model. Are you interested in featuring your business on WCNC NBC Charlotte or Charlotte Today? Reach out to our sales team. Grow your business at 